with the squad Mess with one of us You ain't messing with my vision Messing with the money You ain't messing with Guys, welcome to NMD TV. No more defeats. TV, all we do is win. Never take any losses. And shout out to all my boss guys. If you love college football, visit Chat a few because I talk about college football 24 7, guys. And uh, bear with me today as my voice <laughs> is, uh, it, I'm struggling today just because of the great weekend that I had in Orlando. Came back. My voice uh, is kind of rough right now, but we're going to get through this because I definitely want to talk about a lot. We got a lot to talk about because now we actually have a football game to dissect a football game to actually look at it. No more talking points. We got film to back up what we're going to say. And one of the things that uh, really was weird is people saying Jonathan Garvin uh, was nowhere, nowhere to be found. I mean, I I'm, I'm getting things like, look at his stats. He only had four tackles in the game. That's it. But John, Jonathan Garvin did way more than what his stats show. That's why sometimes you can go by stats and sometimes you can go by film. I, myself, I like to go by film. And uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's get right to it, guys. Jonathan Garvin, 6'4", 256 pound. To me, a athletic freak. And we're going to see that right off the back with this first play. Oh, so you got Jonathan Garvin at the top of the screen here. Now, he can rush with his hand in the ground or standing up. So, this play is 35 early in the game. And Jonathan Garvin, what he's going to do here is a fake rush. He takes one step in with the fake rush. Then he's going to drop back into a spiral. And what I like is once he sees Felipe takes off, he takes off. Felipe tries to juke him. Felipe tries to juke him several times. And then finally, Felipe just says, forget it. I'm going to outrun him. And then the athletic ability for Jonathan Garvin to stay on his feet, dive, make the play, third down. Really, Jonathan Garvin forced the punt right there. Next play, just straight athletic ability and want to and hustle. And you're going to see they're going to motion Tony towards Jonathan Garvin. They actually leave Jonathan Garvin unblocked because I think they believe that a normal defensive end can't go and make this tackle. A normal defensive end probably won't hustle and make this tackle, but Jonathan Garvin, once he sees the motion, he's unblocked. He hustles to the ball. Great job by Romeo Finley and Hall to force Tony back in. And who's there to make the tackle is Jonathan Garvin. And the significance of this play is not only showing his athletic ability and his hustle to get to the ball, but later on in the game, they make the adjustment and they stop running towards Jonathan Garvin just because he was doing such a good job at that early in the game that they actually started going a different way. People always ask me why I don't do more of these film breakdowns. Well, one, the season just started, so we just got fresh, fresh film, but also YouTube be tripping. You only can do so much on the YouTube page. That's why you need to get signed up with the Patreon page where I'll be doing breakdowns such as this weekly and on that Patreon page. So go ahead and get signed up today. Link in the description or in the comment section. Let's get back to this video. I appreciate you. The Garvin in lined up at the bottom of the screen. Closest to you. Now, this play just won't show up in the stat sheet, but you're going to see he's going to attack the tackle, engage, rip. Such a nice explosive move that the tackle has no choice but to hold him. Engage, rip, force Felipe to throw it fast, but also the tackle gets a holding call on this. And that, that doesn't show up in the, in the box score. If you just look, it just says four tackles. But that holding call, that's basically a sack. If you can get the tackle to hold. So, great job. Checking it out, you see Jonathan Garvin at the top of your screen. He starts off um, with his hand in the ground, but he'll shift into a spy standing up. Iron Felipe, Iron Felipe. Then attacking, forces the area pass, terrible throw. And that won't show up on the stat sheet. It won't show up on the stat sheet. So, he gets a, a QB uh, hurry or QB pressure. But if you just go to ESPN and look up stats, you say, Jonathan Garvin only had four tackles. Where is he? I actually had somebody tweet at me. What's Jonathan Garvin doing? I said he's doing his job. That's why your boy NMD TV is here, uh, you know, to shine a light on these things. You know, if you're just watching the game, you know, you, if, you, if you're looking at the ball, where the ball's going, you're not really paying attention to the small things like that. 
But man, I really think Jonathan Garvin had a bigger impact than a lot of people really think. I'm going to be honest, when this play happened, I really didn't even pay attention to what Jonathan Garvin did um, my first watch of this just because I couldn't believe that they actually were throwing the ball on this play. But you're going to see Jonathan Garvin really made this happen. Uh, at the bottom of your screen here, lined up at defensive end, Jonathan Garvin engages with the tackle, rips, does a great job of keeping his head up after he does that rip move. He loves that rip move, engage, rip, keeping his head up to find a quarterback. And also shout out to Patchen who helped collapse the other side so Felipe Franks could step up and Jonathan Garvin just teals off on him and goes into an interception. Really, Florida just wanted to get one last bomb in. They, I think they wanted to make Felipe Frank's stats look better or make the offense look better because it looked like it was a um, stop and go route or some type of double move. But uh, Jonathan Garvin just keeps working, gets to the quarterback, forces him to throw a bad pass here, and it gives Miami a chance to win this game in the end. So Jonathan Garvin, man, uh, one of my favorite players, I'm not going to lie, 6'4", 256 pounds, um, out of uh, Lake Worth, Florida, the guy just goes to work and puts in the work. And I thought it was amazing how Blake, uh, Coach Blake Baker, really used him in the spy role to be able to spy Felipe Franks. Because basically, you know, when I really look at this, I think they were they were the philosophy of what we all thought it was: make Felipe beat us. You know, we can run. We want to rush three, keep Felipe in the pocket because of what he did to Michigan. And Jonathan Garvin was a key role into that. Also, if you look in the later later in the game, I really think they only they only ran it his way a couple times because of what he did in the first half. So this is just one of the many instances where you have to, you know, really just look at a player's film and not just say, oh, he had four tackles. And, you know, he also forced a hold. He also forced him to to you know, devi not deviate, but to change up their game plan. He also forced some quick throws. Uh, to me, he had a great game. So I'm interested to think, see what you guys think in the comments. Guys, there's going to be a video that pops on the screen about my thoughts about Trayvon Hill. Make sure you watch that. Sign up for the Patreon page. Link in the description and in the pinned comments. Um, we're doing great things on that page. So check it out. I'm out. Much love. And as always, no more defeats.